Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Russian President Vladimir Putin, strongly condemning the armed attack which caused the death of the Russian ambassador to Turkey. His Majesty denounced the heinous terrorist act, which contravenes all human norms, ethical principles and values, extending his heartfelt condolences to the Russian president and people and to the ambassador's family. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Federal Republic of Germany's Chancellor, Angela Merkel, expressing the Kingdom of Bahrain's strong condemnation of the terrorist truck ramming, which targeted a Christmas market in the capital Berlin, killing and injuring tens of innocent people. His Majesty stressed that such sinful terrorist acts are contradictory to all humanitarian conventions, moral principles and values. He expressed deepest condolences and sympathies to the German Chancellor and to the families of the victims, wishing all those injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the Russian Federation Republic President Vladimir Putin, strongly denouncing and condemning the armed attack which caused the death of the Russian ambassador to Turkey. His Royal Highness expressed his deepest condolences and sympathies to the Russian people and to the family of the deceased, reaffirming Bahrain's strongest rejection of terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, which are contradictory to all humanitarian principles and moral values. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to German Chancellor Angela Merkel, condemning the terrorist truck ramming which targeted a Christmas market in the capital Berlin, killing and wounding tens of innocent people. He stressed that such heinous terrorist acts are contradictory to all teachings of heavenly religions, humanitarian conventions and moral values. His Royal Highness expressed deepest condolences to the German Chancellor and to the families of the victims, wishing all those injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the Russian Federation Republic President Vladimir Putin, strongly condemning the armed terrorist attack which caused the death of the Russian ambassador to Turkey. He expressed his deepest condolences to the Russian people and to the family of the deceased and denounced such sinful terrorist acts which contradict the teachings of all heavenly religions, humanitarian values and international conventions. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, condemning the terrorist truck ramming which targeted a Christmas bazaar in the German capital Berlin, killing and wounding tens of innocent people. He stressed that such heinous terrorist acts are contradictory to all humanitarian values. His Royal Highness also expressed utmost consolation to the families of the victims, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Alman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, today chaired an EDB meeting where he stressed the importance of sustaining the investment sector in the Kingdom to fulfil the goals of Economic Vision 2030 and achieve the desired comprehensive development as well as the importance to unifying the efforts of the public and private sectors to resume the development and growth that supports the national economy. He highlighted the importance of enhancing the investment field with promising products and projects that contribute to the development and diversification of the economy and create career opportunities for citizens. His Royal Highness noted the necessity for doubling of efforts of developing infrastructure in the telecommunications sector to enhance the national economy. He toured the new board's headquarters in Gulf of Bahrain and viewed various directorates and sections. He was also briefed on progress in implementing plans, strategies and programs that the board is keen on carrying out to enhance economic growth and coordination with various local and international bodies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the board's members further success.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, today chaired the Council's weekly meeting. The Council approved a draft law on enhancing and protecting investments between Bahrain and Bangladesh. The Council also approved a report by the Committee concerned with the reply to royal speech and directed to add amendments proposed by MPs during the session. The meeting approved the proposal for the government to take into account Islamic values, customs and traditions of the local community in all occasions and celebrations held in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also approved the proposal for the government to organize a national campaign to provide relief to the people of Aleppo and Mosul by collecting donations through official institutions, civil society organizations and charities. The Council then approved the proposal in regards to granting full contracts to Bahraini employees working under temporary contracts in Tamkeen programs. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly denounced yesterday that the attack targeting the Russian ambassador to Turkey leading to his death. An official statement has been released asserting that the Kingdom of Bahrain considers it a terrorist act and a crime that aims to damage relations between countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain expresses its condolences to the leadership and people of Russia and to the family of the deceased and affirms its solidarity with Russia and support for Turkey in combating violence and terrorist acts. The Kingdom renews its total rejection of terrorism in all its forms and calls for world cooperation to eradicate such dangerous phenomena which target peace and stability globally. Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and now with the local stocks. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,191.34 points, marking an increase of 2.64 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors. And investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 64% of total shares. 32 transactions included 889,720 shares worth 183,500 Bahraini dinars. The Judicial Committee for Settlement of Stall Property Development Projects, chaired by Judge Mahmoud Arabi, sold the Jafir Views projects to Rami Hotels Group and auction at the price of 3,600,000 Bahraini dinars. The committee pointed out that according to the Bahrain's pleading law, any person can settle the auction through the next 10 days, and the increase should not be less than the 10th of the 8th. The sale can be finalized if it was approved by the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment. We're delighted that uh, Jufair Views, we're beginning to get the resolution of this uh, stalled real estate project under the jurisdiction of the court and we've followed all the rules. It's been a very open and transparent process and uh, my company, we're very privileged to be offering the property for sale. Uh, Savills is the number one European real estate advisor. Uh, we've been in the property auctioneering business for 160 years. I've been based in Bahrain since 1995 and in, Bahrain, in the region since 1982. And uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the first time this has actually happened in this way. So congratulations to Bahrain. Uh, we're reading, leading the system on getting everything resolved in the real estate market and we're here to help you do that. 